That's a new door dent. I just noticed that. I hate people. Anyway, a great way to add horsepower as well as braking power to your car is to paint your brake calipers. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So first what you wanna do is jack up your car. Make sure you put it on a jack stand too. And make sure you take your wheel off. Now before you say anything, yes I know I need to change my rotors. You can see this line right here. I will be doing that in the near future. Once I have money. I'm going to be doing the quick and easy method today, which doesn't involve taking off the caliper. Uh, if you do that, you, you can do it if you want. If you do it, it'll be easier to paint it. But if you just mask everything around carefully, you can still get good results without taking everything apart. I've done it before and I've been pretty happy with the results. So what I'm going to do first is soak it down with some water. Get rid of all the loose stuff. And then I'm just going to get a uh, wheel cleaner. This removes brake dust off wheels, so obviously it's going to remove it off of this. I'll spray it, let it sit for a bit, and then I'll scrub it, and then rinse it again, and wait for it to dry. If you have a slightly older car, you will probably have a little bit of surface rust on the caliper, in which case you want to get a wire brush and scrape as much of that off as possible. I would have used uh, brake cleaner. But it says on it not to get any overspray on any rubber components. Don't want to damage anything. So what I will be using is wax and grease remover. I'll just be wiping it on so I can control where it goes. And that way nothing is interfering with the adhesion of the paint. So once you're done wiping it down with a wax and grease remover, you are ready to start masking. Okay, so I just finished masking everything, and with a little bit of creative thinking, you can do a pretty good job. So I'm pretty happy with what I did. Now, we're ready for paint. Uh, the kind of paint you want to use, let me focus it here, is flame proof. You want to look for the temperature, 1500, 815 uh, Celsius. Um, if you use regular paint, I don't really know what's going to happen, probably something bad. I've never done it before, but uh, you want to use uh, high temperature paint, because brakes get hot. Alright, so general sp spray painting rules, just uh, do nice, easy light coats and uh, wait about 10 minutes in between your coats. The third coat is drying right now, and it looks pretty good so far. And one thing I love about painting brake calipers is that it's a quick, easy, and fun project to do, mainly because it doesn't need to be perfect. This is going to be behind a wheel that's spinning most of the time and no one's going to notice that there's a drip or some overspray or any spots you miss. So, all right, I think it's ready to I think we're ready to take the mask off. So once your last coat has dried, you can first of all admire your work. Um, I'm pretty stoked with how this turned out. It came out a lot better than I thought. I thought there'd be a bit more overspray marks, but it uh, doesn't look like there is. So, once it's dry, you can throw the wheel back on and pretty much just drive around. That way the paint can cure. It says, it says on the instructions to bake it, but you can't really bake it unless you want to re-bleed your whole system and it takes a lot longer. So much better, but yeah, that looks awesome. Oh, whoops! So if you do this model, you will be able to stop quicker, a lot quicker. It'll probably reduce 20 feet of your braking distance. It also increase horsepower by about five brake horsepower, and torque actually, believe it or not, torque about 20 foot pounds of torque. So great, great bane for buck mod. Highly recommend you do it. Clearly, I'm joking. This is just for looks. <laughs> um, highly recommend you do it because it's fun, it's easy, and it looks great and uh, adds a really nice little touch to your car. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, and please consider subscribing for more car-related content, and I'll see you all in the next video.